So with them, uh, they were like, I remember real late nights discussion, whiteboard, you know, brainstorming. And that resulted in rebranding our idea as EK Import. So this is like, it's, it's never done before in the world. This is the world's first crowd importing. We wouldn't have really come up with this rebranding if it wasn't for, for those acceleration or mentoring sessions that we had. 한국에서 스타트업을 하고 싶어하는 외국인 창업자들을 위한 창업 경진 대회인 K 스타트업 그랜드 챌린지 프로그램에서 이전에 우수한 성과를 드러냈던 두 팀을 오늘 스튜디오로 모셔봤습니다. 안녕하세요. Hi, um, I'm Peter, CEO of ekimport.com. It is a crowd importing platform that aggregates small orders from around the world for cross-border commerce and places a large import order to the exporters of any country. So for example, in Korea, we've got lots of exporters who would like to receive large orders. So they come to akeimport.com to get large orders uh, to be shipped out to other countries like India, Singapore, and many others. So EK Import is the crowd importing platform for global B2B commerce. Hello, my name is Jung Joo. And I'm the general manager of Bear Robotics Korea. Bear Robotics is a startup started in Silicon Valley. We are focused on building innovative product that combines both robotics and AI to innovate the restaurant industry. Our autonomous indoor serving robot delivers food from kitchen to the table autonomously by understanding the environment of the restaurant. With our product, restaurant employees can reduce their tedious and repetitive job so that they can more focus on improving the customer experience. So we, we recently got investment from, uh, from leading uh, venture capitalists. We raised more than uh, 30 million uh, US dollars uh, early this year. Okay, that's really interesting. Uh, yeah. yeah. So for us, uh, we had an angel round done, uh, which was by a Singaporean angel investor for 100,000. So we are in a very early stage right now. Mm -hmm. And currently we are looking at raising a capital of $1 million for our company, both from investors in India, Singapore, mm -hmm. as well as in Korea. And uh, in terms of revenue sources, given the COVID situation this year, slowly we are seeing small pockets and small corridors like Korea to Singapore that is kind of opening up. So we are looking at those as our revenue sources in the coming months. 어떤 문제를 해결하는 스타트업인지 시청자들한테 이야기해 줄수 있나요? Cross-border trade is actually still very manual. Trade promotion is done by going to trade fairs, physically travel across the borders and go and meet buyers and sellers. So that was the real reason where we said that that's a very maybe ineffective way in this day and age. We should use technology and data science to predict where the demand would be and start supplying products to that country across the borders. So that was the genesis of our idea. The problem we are trying to solve is Currently, the restaurant business is, is not easy to operate. This is based on um, the real experience that our founder uh, found out while he was doing his own restaurant. So restaurant employees work about eight miles a day and they have to carry heavy dishes and they have to walk all the way from kitchen to the table. So we thought that we can innovate this experience with new technologies, for example, robotics and AI. So that's why we are trying to build indoor autonomous robot so that it can help restaurant employees to reduce their um, tedious jobs so that they can work more happily and they provide more valuable uh, experience to the customers at the restaurant. 혹시 그 생각하고 있는 시장의 크기가 얼마나 되는지 두분다 되게 클것 같은데 들어볼 수 있을까요? So the market for us is 6.1 just India and Korea trading relationship. So these are all small imports, uh, not really capital intensive, which can be aggregated in a bulk. So small orders can be bulked up before we place the order to a Korean exporter. 저희가 이제 타겟으로 하는 마켓은 패스트 캐주얼이라고 이제 한국말로는 하는데요. 패스트 푸드보다는 좀더 서비스가 들어가 있고 하지만 이제 파인 다이닝만큼 풀 서비스가 아닌 어떻게 말하면 가성비 좋은 그런 마켓을 저희가 타겟으로 한다고 말할 수 있습니다. 멘토링을 받으면서 인상 깊었던 거나 정말 크게 도움이 됐던 거 그런 게 있을까요? So when we came in here, our original idea of the branding was called EK Port. It was to do with export. But then based on the discussions with the accelerator that was assigned to us, CNT Tech. So with them, uh, they were like, I remember real late nights discussion, whiteboard, you know, brainstorming. And that resulted in rebranding our idea as EK Import, which is a crowd importing platform. So this is like, it's, it's never done before in the world. This is the world's first crowd importing. We wouldn't have really come up with this rebranding if it wasn't for, for those acceleration or mentoring sessions that we had. If I had already uh, known and done things which I've done now, if I go back in time, I'm just going to leverage my accelerator not to work on my idea, but to expand it in the network that they bring. 
So not refining my idea, but more like networking in Korea with all different businesses, different industries. 저희는 이제 N15이라고 하드웨어 엑셀러레이터랑 이제 연결을 해주셨는데 한국의 하드웨어 산업이 어떻게 돌아가고 있는지 이제 견학도 같이 가주시고 그래서 저희로서는 한국에서 이 비즈니스를 계속 할수 있게 하는데 되게 도움이 많이 됐던 것 같습니다. 다시 참가한다 그러면 제가 주도, 주도가 돼서 소셜라이징 이벤트를 만들어서라도 더 같이 더 자주 모이고 이렇게 다른, 다른 스타트업과의 관계를 좀더더잘 어, 만들어 놓을 것 같아요. 끈끈한 관계를 만들어 놓으면 더 좋지 않을까 생각을 합니다. 한국에서 비즈니스 하는 거 어떤지? So we have many Korean exporters who are wanting to start this business on our platform. As well as the Indian buyers, they are happy because they always want to order some new things from different parts of the world, right? But ordering small quantity is like impossible. Like no one takes them seriously if a small, small order is coming from one buyer in India. So if there's a technology and data science that can aggregate that and predict some demand uh, across time, that is a lot of value. So that's what we are, we are trying to do on our platform. 한국에서 비즈니스라는 거는 두 가지 측면으로 되게 좋은 것 같아요. 한 가지는 이제 좋은 인력을 구할 수 있다는 것. 또 하나는 한국 업체들이 새로운 테크놀을 받아들이는데 거부감이 굉장히 적어요. 그래서 이제 저희 로봇 같이 세상에 없던 새 제품도 별로 들어가지 않으시고 한번 써보자 이렇게 해서 POC를 진행하는 경우가 굉장히 많아서 굉장히 좋은 기회인 것 같습니다. 회사의 미션이 뭐고 앞으로의 계획이 무엇인지? For akeimport.com, we want to be default platform for exporters, especially small medium enterprises, that they don't have to think that cross-border business is, is very difficult and very complicated. They just have to use our platform to begin their trading with other countries. So our vision is really that exporters should look at Akeimport as their default platform for trading, and the buyers in different countries should look at Akeimport as the platform that gives them best prices because of crowd import. That, that's my mission for the company. 앞으로의 계획은 저희 올해 말에 저희 첫 번째 제품이 런치가 될 예정이고 내년에는 더 많은 로봇을 더 많은 레스토랑에 배치를 해서 저희 레스토랑에서 일하시는 분들이 좀더 좋은 서비스를 제공할 수 있게 하는 게 저희의 목표입니다.